G'day viewers and welcome to this week's bonus PB's Retro Restorations video. This is another one of my monthly collaborations with Matchbox Mark, who's always kind enough to include me in these things. Now it was my turn to pick, and I picked Mopars, because I'm a bit of a Chrysler Tragic. You know, I'm currently between Valiants, I've had uh, several of them over the years, I might do a photo slideshow of them all one day. I'm currently between Valiants, but you know what that's like. Anyway. I forgot to film half of it, I wasn't entirely happy with the end result, I buggered the paint. Um, but anyway, I'll show you what I, do. <laughs> I did film, and hopefully you'll half like the result. Hopefully you'll like it better than I did. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. So while I drill the posts for tapping later after I've drilled it apart, you may notice that the base on these Matchbox Cooter is weird. It's got big humps where the wheels go through and it, it caught me in the end because the rear wheels don't touch the ground like the humps are that big um, but that's my fault yeah it's a little bit weird and as I progressed more and more I felt like once I'd started painting it it really showed up some of the discrepancies in this model it's not a terribly it's not as good as Hot Wheels as 1971 uh, Cuda or their AAR Cuda anyway the interior of this is really good, but you, you cannot see it properly through the windows. Literally, the only way to be able to see it is to pull it apart. So that was nice to see. It's got the right pattern for the um, console lid and everything. Anyway, I popped the wheels out. I'm doing a wheel swap on this one. Onwards and upwards. Okay, so I'm using some testers pack, um, rattle pack, Hemi Orange. It's uh, actual um, factory matched Hemi Orange in a can. I bought this for a Plymouth Superbird. I built a 125th model kit, uh, which I'm happy to share photos with if anyone's interested. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some of my other models. Um, so anyway, sprayed it Hemi Orange. I sprayed the base Hemi Orange as well so it can... Um, it'll match up and I was quite pleased with the results of this it looked really good now what I didn't record was after I'd finished painting it I was trying to paint the shaker hood argent silver or whatever that metal color it's supposed to be and I spilled a little bit of it on it and then I tried cleaning it off the hood and then I buggered the paint on the hood so I ended up spray painting it uh, flat black so it looks a little bit more like a Aussie RT color scheme I think I must have been subconsciously channeling my old RT, but anyway, I scraped the little wheel arches off to simulate the chrome. Uh, I ended up, well you'll see the other touches I did to it as well. I really am sorry I didn't film it, I'm a bit stupid sometimes. I get in the zone and I forget. So here we are back at the start with the original um, Matchbox Hemi Cuda. Uh, it looks quite good in this, I think it's Lemon Twist or Citronella, I know they've got all cool names for muscle car colours. Um, it looks it looks good like this, but once I stripped it and started painting it and detailing it, it showed up some of the shortfalls in the casting. But anyway, uh, this is what we started with, and this is what I ended up with. Da -da! Okay, so I did try and paint the tail lights, but I, I ruined it every time and I just left them black in the end. The rear wheels don't touch the ground. It's got a black hood when I would have preferred it. I wanted it just to be orange with the uh, silver shaker scoop, but that wasn't to be. Um, I had some success with things like the vinyl top and the door handles, and I liked the wheel choice, and I liked the orange paint, and the exhaust tips worked good for me. Um, and the wheel arch chrome and so I learned some new things I'm not real happy with it um, I just I ran out of time I should have spent more time on it but oh well it is what it is and 
here's a bonus picture of my old Hemi Orange six pack RT charger that I used to have in the olden days when I could still afford one. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed watching this video, I can't blame you if you haven't. Um, but you never know, next week's video might be better. Thanks Matchbox Mark for including me again. Uh, make sure you go and check his, I'll post a link. You can click on one of these images, it'll take you to his. Thank you very much. I'll see you Friday for our regular video. And um, I'll catch you then. Bye.